Well, hello again. So, this here is a teddy bear with a heart and a flower. The teddy bear design is totally borrowed, ripped off, stolen uh, from Chai Twister, Clayton Chai Twister. So, he posted the, the teddy bear, I can't remember how long ago on YouTube, and uh, I love it. It's just fabulous. I've, I've added kind of hands, at least as near as I remember it, hands and the flowers. If I remember correctly, Chai Twist just did the, uh, just the teddy bear. So I'm going to show you teddy bear with hands and a heart and a flower. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is, uh, sorry, 350 is a 5 inch round, a 6 inch heart and 260 is right here. Good. Of course, use any color you like, but uh, that's the way I like to do it, just like that. So I'm going to take the, you can do this in any order, you'll figure it out. Okay, it's 5 inch round, about uh, three, 3 fingers right there. I'm going to tie it up. And myself, I like to put a knot on the end, right at the nozzle end of the uh, round. It, it helps when I kind of tulip twist it. And um, yeah, I guess I'll do the, the brown part right now. Like I say, this is, a, this is a 350. If you're doing a 360, you could probably make it bigger. But I find sometimes if you make it too big, it just doesn't look as cute. I kind of like it compact. Anyway, have about that much air in it. Okay, like I said, a 350. Anyway, we're going to do the head. So, you know, uh, I don't know, five, uh, a whole hand right there. Then we're going to do the, the head, so there's an ear. And continuing on the head, we're going to do another ear. And then we'll do the side of the head. And, and as, of course, with things like this, it's very important to get these two matched up. And as I can see, this one's a bit long. So, we're going to just shorten that a little bit. You know, it's good enough right there, not too short, that'll do. Wrap it around, bring the knot through a couple of times, keeps it in, in place. I'm, this way I do it, I squeeze it right to the end, so there's not much, you know, but it's soft. Twist about halfway, then whatever is, is here, little bubble right, right at that. Loop it around, perfect, that'll stay. Then I split, this will be the arms. Twisting, and again, twisting again. There we go. That is teddy bear without the head, the face, and the chest, or the belly. Now we'll take a blush 350. As I said, you of course can use 360s on these. So, and here's our five inch heart, or sorry, five inch round. We're gonna push it in. But as far as, as you think you need to go. For some reason this one doesn't wanna catch. I'll try it again. Try again. Push. And grab. There we are. Okay, so that's about four fingers. Good four fingers, maybe even five. Then I'm going to put a, a pinch twist on the end, or the, right behind. Right. That way the this doesn't untwist. Um, on here, see the the pinch twist is right there. Okay. Then we take our heart, or I mean our sorry, our 350 push the nose right through the back of the head and then myself I, I like to twist the ears right now so do pinch twist ear twist right there we'll do it again on the other side it's okay we're, we're pulling we're squishing the sides of our head together and there. hopefully you were able to follow all of that let's just push our nose back a bit better normally I don't do the little modifications or you know things until it's all ready but I did it now, that way you can see where we are. Okay. Then we're going to do the, the back of the head right here. So as high or as small as you think you need to make that. This one's, uh, I only need about three fingers I think. Wrap that around the, the neck. like to wrap it around a couple of times. Squeeze just to soften it. Once again, this is deciding how high or, you know, to make, sorry, how big to make the belly or the back since the back and the belly are the same thing. Twist, kind of push that through, and wrapping it. There we go, so it's wrapped around once. Do the exact same thing for the, the front. Now we're gonna make a bit of noise right there. Pop the balloon, tie it underneath. Perfect, so. If I remember correctly, and I haven't checked out uh, Clayton for a while, <laughs> this is, I think this is where he stopped, but 
Who knows? Maybe he did the entire thing. Anyway, I'm going to do the entire thing. So, if you want to hand that off, go right ahead. Uh, you might want to put the eyes on it and, you know, once again, there you go. Uh, I guess I like to, like I say, on this one, put the hands. So, I'm going to do the hands. At least that's what I call them. I use 260s. You're not going to need a lot, but you're going to make your two hands out. And two hands, and, and these are just two, uh, you know, full twists extra large pinch twists, whatever you want to call them, flower twists, okay, about four fingers, twist those around, and I'm going to push it through the hands, like, right at the, the twist, being gentle, wrap it a couple of times, pull it off, there, there, do it again, tie, about the same size, there, Another twist. And I dropped it. There we go. All right, teddy bear. Here we are. The exact same thing. And go in where the twist was on the arm. Twist a few times. That holds it in place. There. Scrap the garbage. Okay? So there is our teddy bear with the hands and nothing to hold. The next part is really, really difficult. Take a heart shaped balloon. blow it out. I like to give it a bit of a twist, just kind of tightens it up a bit, tie it, and push that, wrap it around one of that, whichever hand you think needs to go on, right there. If you're in a hurry, then you can always just take a geo blossom and blow that up and put it in the other hand. But right now, I'm not in a hurry. So, for absolutely no reason, I have a golden rod, right there, so, right here. Actually, also called mango. Depends which brand you're using. So we're going to do a five-petal uh, five petal flower. Once again, about four fingers. Give it a twist. Soften it as I go. Four fingers there. Squeeze. And again. This is how I make my five-petal flower. Squish those two together. Then... Another petal, the exact same, pretty close same size as the, the original four. Wrapping that in, I go around a few times. Now we'll take a scrap and using the same scrap of, of yellow that I used for right here. Blow it up, soften it a little bit, let a little bit of air out, tie it, and then split that in half, okay, right there, into the middle of our flower, get rid of that part, now you can wrap this around the middle of the, the yellow center of your flower, definitely it won't go anywhere, okay. yay, there we are, and I'm going to use a scrap of green for the for the stem of the flower, in there, slight soften. So we're going to push this into the top, the bottom. It doesn't matter. Wherever it will hold, that's where it goes. Okay. So there's our flower. Give it a about three fingers. Where's my tip? There it is. Push it right into into the hands. There we go, pull this part off. Good. Oh, stuck on me. There it is, good. Okay, so there we are. And color on there. And of course use any color you like for the heart and the flowers. And definitely big thanks to Chai Twist and Clayton for, for posting this one quite a while ago. I use it almost every week, almost. Adults love this one. So anyway, if you have any requests, uh, please let me know. If you want to subscribe, go right ahead. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, thank you very much. Bye for now.